Hey everyone, we are back for our second story of the day. So we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves. Um, we know you all will be coming in and you will be watching the replay, so it is okay. So we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves for our second story of the day. My name is Crystal. My name is Asia. And we are the mother, mother and, and daughter, daughter duo. duo. And we are so excited to be here again on today. I am the founder of Beautiful Spirited Women. And I am the founder of Beautiful Spirited Cupcakes. And we just actually found out that Asia will be on the Girls Who Brunch Tour. So she will be officially a uh, ambassador. And we are so excited about that. So our next story that we will be reading on today is... Chilling My Way to Success by Ken Kenya? Kenya Bean. She is one of our girlpreneurs in uh, Beautiful Spirited Women. She now has three storefronts um, right in the city of Memphis. We are so excited for her and her family. Uh, her mom is so awesome, Miss Valerie. We appreciate her. Uh, we um, honored her last year as a girlpreneur in our organization. And this year she will be speaking as the keynote speaker for our Weekend BSW girls explosion so we are so excited and can't wait to hear her uh, speak at our explosion so we are going to go ahead and start our second story and this book is pretty much long um, if you would like to get this book you can actually go on amazon.com and just um, purchase this book but we're just going to read the first chapter for you all but this uh, young lady wrote this book when she was only eight years of age. She is now 11 and she on three storefronts. So we are like thrilled to know that there's a girlpreneur, a young lady out there that is striving and trying to do great things in the business and corporate world. So we're going to go ahead and start reading. All right. So Asia. Chapter one. Hello, my name is Kenya Bean, and I have several nicknames, but the one I love the most is KB. I am the 8-year-old owner of, and CEO of Bill Chill Lemonade, LLC, and, and Future Dentist. I am a lover of cheetahs because of their speed and mm -hmm. abilities <clears throat> of, uh, and traveling. It's a huge passion of mine. I have been a bridge, Bridgeport Atlanta, Hudsonville, New York, Jackson, Durant, and have plans to become an international traveler as well. I have I was born in Memphis, Tennessee at Baptist Women's Hospital and delivered by Dr. Monica Pasley mm -hmm. and OBGYN. She took care of my mom and me before I was born. Upon my arrival, I was greeted by Dr. Bianca Sweden, my amazing prediction she has been in constant medical influence in my life no matter what what city or state i have lived in with my family while living in memphis i was remembered i was remembered of saint andrew amce church under and i think that word was pediatrician um, i didn't look i'm sorry and pastors Dr. Kenneth and Marilyn Robinson, and New Friendship MBC Church under the pastors Paul and Deborah Reed. My mom and I were very active in New Friendship. My mom was the choir uh, vice president and leader of dance ministry. When I was only about two, I enjoyed the King's Kid Choir that was for children under 12. I do not have a lot of memories of Memphis, but I know I had a great start. Life in Memphis did not last long because at around the age of three, I relocated to Nashville, Tennessee after the birth of my baby brother, Demetrius Brodick. Growing up in Nashville was awesome. I was involved in various activities such as Girl Scouts, ballet, and gymnastics at the Nashville School of Dance and Music. Track and field uh, on the Illusion Track team, and I also played soccer. Plus, I made two of the world's greatest friends, Quince Etheridge and Layla Hentrell. My time was my best friends was always full of laughter, joy, tears, and problems and solutions. 
We love each other and did everything together every day, including various community activities. While being involved in the community, I excelled academically as a student at Eakin Elementary mm -hmm. School, where I started at, a, at the age of four years old. I owe my academic foundation to my exponential elementary school teachers, Ms. Fry, Ms. C., and Ms. Bunt. During my time in Nashville, I learned much about myself. I discovered that my favorite color was purple. Purple means royalty, and my father always called me his princess. So I knew that I was someone who mattered and had a and had value. It's also special to me because it's my grandmother Marcia's mm -hmm. favorite color too. My friendships with Quinice and Layla exposed me to various literature and chapter books since we read a lot. Some of my favorite series of books to read are from the Magic Treehouse books. The books were awesome. They provided mysteries, adventure, and fun for all readers. My friends and I started a book club where we where we would meet, eat, and read books. I was always sad when our busy schedule forced us to to cancel club meetings, but it never stopped us from reading. During during after school care at Eakin Harris Himlin mm -hmm. Hillman while mm -hmm. hanging out with my friends was one of my main pleasures. I also enjoyed dancing, singing, and probably singing. Spending time with my family and doing anything that brought me laughter and joy. Even though I do not get to watch much television, some of my favorite shows are The Descendants and The Flash. Mm -hmm. I thoroughly enjoy the music and plot of The Descendants and what makes The Flash so special is I watch it with my dad. Watching sh television shows in my house is not just about sitting and watching quietly. We discuss every detail of the show mm -hmm. and even predict what we believe will happen in future scenes. This is truly one of my favorite things to do when I am free. Loving my family, living life, and enjoying my friends all brought great joy to me daily until we moved to Flowood, Mississippi, where I had to start over again at a new school. Flowood Elementary makes make new friends and live in a new community. My family and I moved to support my mom as a student at the Mississippi College School of Law. This transition was very quick but hard. I was away on summer break visiting my family in Memphis when my mom found out she was accepted into law school and needed to relocate very soon. Because of this, I was not able to say goodbye to my best friends. Their families, this was devastating to me and, and was a very difficult adjustment. I attend a new school, Flowood Elementary, and hoped I would make a lot of friends to help with the transition, but that didn't happen. Although I did not make a lot of new friends, my teacher, Miss Lambert, was exceptional and I truly enjoyed her class. She made learning fun by pitting our skills and concepts into songs and rap. Not having a lot of friends, I found myself enjoying my little brother more than I had before. Demetrius and I would ride our bikes for hours outside. We played in the dirt, built castles with blocks, drew and colored pictures, pictures, read books together, and learned to provide great support for each other, especially when we were in trouble. Living in Flowood, Flowood gave me <clears throat> more time to dream and think about my future since I saw my mom pursuing her dreams. I truly learned how to dream while living in Flowood, and I fell in love with makeup and accessories. I acted in the house play, dress up, and pretended that I was walking on the red carpet while learning to dream and my mom be being a law student. I was also exposed to the, challenge, the, to the challenges of various. Communities and cultures faced with the justice system, lack of resources, childhood hunger, and violence. As a believer in a Christian, I have always been concerned about the level of violence around the world. During car rides to and from school or other places with my family, 
I can remember questioning the behavior of others from television shows that my parents watch, such as local news and, sorry about that, local news, uh, First 48, NCIS, and other crime dramas. These shows depict various bad behaviors from those in the community, such as murder, robbery, gun violence, fighting, etc., I found myself praying for the community in the world that God would help us make better choices. In times such as those, those concerns after affect me today, I continue to pray for others and ask God to do the same for them. I demonstrate love and respect for others simply because I believe they are both a part for the answers to our problems. They may not solve everything, but I know they will help reduce the amount of crime in the world. I pray that I continue to contribute factor to helping reduce violence, especially among youth, due to the level of concern I have for I have for <clears throat> our world. I desire to use many businesses and my message to inspire the community, bring hope to families, and influence the blueprint of my generation. I am Kanaya Bean, CEO of Be Chill Lemonade LLC. Awesome. And we just read you all the first chapter of this amazing book. And like I said, you can go on Amazon to purchase this book. Um, it is like truly amazing to see an eight year old at the time, which she is 11 now, um, already a author and she already owned three stores. So let's support her. And we appreciate this beautiful platform, Girls Who Brunch Tour. Thank you so much for having us. Asia, do you have anything you'd like to say? Um, thank you for watching and have a good day. All right, you all have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs>